Gumball Season 4, Episode 34? I believe it's 34. The Blame. Dang, that was a hard synth note. Also, yeah, it is Episode 34. Whoa! I love the way she's animated. She's animated like you know those old school animations because, like uh, hand drawn animations, like on film. Like she has that film look to her, all that grain and stuff. Oh, I really like that. That's cool animation. It's like Cuphead. Oh no! Not the video games. Stop. I hate any time that's brought up. It kills me inside. I think the worst offender of this... In fact, I made a video on this on my other channel a decent while back. I don't remember when it was. It was sometime last year, like September maybe. I made a video... Or, no, there, there's a news clip, right? Because we know the news loves to bash on video games. Even today, they still do it. Although, today, I will admit, it is a lot more... They are a lot more lenient on video games because they've grown exponentially in popularity in recent years, as opposed to, like, 10, 15 years ago. But but I saw an uh, interview... I, can't, I don't even remember what news station it was on. Uh, it was probably Fox News or something, let's be real here. Um, and... It was discussing Mass Effect, and, like, Jeff Keighley showed up to try and defend it, and it was the most irritating thing I could have ever seen. I I don't really know what to tell you to look at, but if you can find that video, it, it, uh, it, I just, video games don't cause violence. The people who enact violence and blame it on video games, they are the problem, not the games. And most of the time, the, since they are the problem, their problem usually stems, stems from the uh, parenting that they lacked growing up. I'm just saying. Much like rock and roll music, long hair and vaccinations. Oh, oh, she's anti-vax too. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, okay. Also, there are some kids who are actually mentally, like, unstable in a way that, like, you wouldn't want to give them violent video games because they actually would act it out. There are situations like that that could actually happen. I have a feeling the egg right here is going to be one of those kids that gets way too sucked into it, and uh, this is going to be bad. I can already tell it's going to be bad. As president of the Parents Association, I call for a total... I work for the PTA... Really? No, that's oh. This episode's gonna piss me off. I already know. Oh, dude. We are Mr. Dad and Mrs. Mom. He means Richard and Nicole Watterson, and we pound video games to be nothing but a. He actually kind of sounds like Nicole right here. Like Gumball, he is actually putting on that Nicole uh, voice a little bit. They can. It's a gavel. You wouldn't let me use it. Oh, okay. So you have like three lives. Okay. Antisocial and make you unhealthy. Well, just take a look at this family sharing some sporty fun together. It's it's a Wii. <laughs> some of my fondest memories growing up was playing Minecraft and Halo on my Xbox with, you know, my buddies or brother or whatnot you know i mean like come on that's just part in, in wii sports as well i mean come on video games are good they're great Sorry, no hand at the end of the well that's why you wear the wrist strap you know remember when nintendo got sued for the weak wrist strap they had on the wii remotes for a lot of money and so 
ever since then on their Switch and on their Wii. They have uh, really, really put all the warnings they can, telling you to put on the wrist strap so they can't be sued again. Good times. I, I would recommend looking up that lawsuit if you're interested. No, I'm going to be pausing a lot. This is not the body of a world-class gamer. This is the body of a World at Warcraft player or League of Legends player. Uh, maybe Overwatch 2. I don't know. I might... Mm. What would I stretch it into? Valorant, maybe? Average Discord mod. Nothing like, yes, yeah, nothing like saying slurs to your friends on an Xbox Live party chat. Dang. Joe is the worst person for this example. Are you kidding me? Joe would... Oh, no. He's, this is definitely not going to prove his point. Wow, it's like... Hey, Tina. Oh, trust me. This episode must have came out 10 years ago. That is so not true anymore. <laughs> Nuh uh. Just open up Twitch to the, the front page. You'll, uh. uh you'll, um. Get exposed to a lot of, uh. Well, yeah, you know what I'm. It's Twitch. You know what I'm talking about. But, but in actual reality, though, there are a lot of female gamers out there. I mean, there always have been. But they are a lot more, uh. Well known now because of, you know, streaming stuff, which is really cool, actually. It's, uh. Really appreciated. I actually have a lot of, um female gamers i watch on youtube and twitch actually i don't use twitch that much if i'm being honest i don't like watching live streams that much i mean like i do live streams sometimes and i think they're fun to do but like watching them it's just like yeah but i want to skip around you know and especially on twitch on twitch you can't go back in the timeline where on youtube you can i still hate that twitch doesn't let you go back on the timeline like what why what's the benefit it adds nothing in fact it just takes away that's why i stream on youtube it's also where my audience is, so, you know, it's whatever. Anyways. The lack of natural sunlight has given her skin like a parrot's tongue. And the breath is like She's standing outside. Parents. And the teeth, they're so yellow, I thought they were made out of gold. And look at her tiny arms, completely... Oh, okay, well, that's, that's just her genetics, bro. I've heard of gaming addiction before, but I never thought a girl would let herself go to the point of needing a chainsaw to cut her toenails. Yeah, but video games didn't turn her into a giant lizard. There was no case to begin with. Ha! <laughs> Good Metal Gear reference. I, that was really funny. Steak! 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 Oh, uh, what? Is, yeah, that's like that. That that's. Oh boy. That's a good point. That's a good point. It might be interesting. Oh, did Banana Joe actually get into the book? You okay? Oh, it's this dark book. It's making my hair stand on end. What hair? Hmm? Okay, That's... what is it? Grimm's fairy tales. Everyone, start reading! Yeah, it's really hypocritical when you think about it. Come on, let's teach our parents a lesson! Because they're going to be like, oh man, they're, they're so involved in books that they just can't. But they're going to be like, oh no, books, it's fine. Because they're books that's the only reason why it's like it's almost like the situation where they're like video games cause violence but violent movies oh you, you can watch r-rated movies all the time that's fine who cares about violence in movies but violence in video games that's when it's bad it's like shut up Dad, oh you have to check them out of course yeah and now that we've banned video games let's move on to the next blight on oh yeah what computer. else do you want to ban do you enjoy life does she even enjoy living? Like, what the what 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 is her purpose? There is violence in books. That that is true. Wow. Okay. 
for banning books too. Fiction. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet, that's classic right there. We've raised myriad issues here today. Censorship, parenting, making gross noises with one's armpit. But the nub of the argument is thus. Video games are shouldering the burden of a deeper problem. It is not the material that's to blame. How parents teach their children to respond to it. My gosh, Billy, you're right. Yes! That's what I don't understand how people can't get that through their heads. She's going to ban all of it. Become better parents and look after our children in a sensible way. Yeah, yeah, you should. Burn the books. Wow. I wonder what that reminds me of. I wonder what historical event about 100 years that reminds me of. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Um, This was good. Th I, I This episode kind of pissed me off, but not in the bad way. <laughs> Just in the, the meta way. Because this is a great episode, actually. This is a very, very good episode. But it just irks me, the whole video game debate. It's so stupid. It, like, it, it was annoying. It's annoying going back and watching, like, news reports and stuff, like, 10, 15 years ago. Even 20 years ago at this point. I mean, God, it's, tw it's 2024. That's crazy to me. Like, I'm 20 now. That's, that's wild. Anyways, whatever. So, <laughs> um... But it's still a problem that exists today. I mean, I remember when the GTA 6 trailer came out like two months ago. And what do you know? All of the, A bunch of new sites jumped on about how terrible it is. It's like, oh my gosh, just get over it. Or how about, what, what was it? I think two weeks ago? Maybe a week ago even. Uh, six, I think he was 16. He, he may have even been younger than 16. A kid. It's a, a freaking minor. He beat Tetris. He played the original Tetris until the game code could not process the game anymore, and it broke. Which means he technically beat Tetris. And some British lady did a news report on it, and she's like, this is nothing to be proud of. Go outside. There's, there's, you know, being proud of doing this. Like, you have nothing better to do. And it's like, oh my gosh, just shut up. Just shut up. I don't care. Okay? Like, Karen, I... Okay, getting past all of that stuff, this episode was very good. I really liked it. And it brought a very good message I agree with at the end. Parent your freaking kid. If you think your kids are going to reenact violent video games in real life, how about you just make sure they don't? I don't know. It was just a crazy thought. I, I mean, frick, I, I grew up playing Halo and even, you know, later on GTA and stuff. Like, I, I'm fine. I don't know. I, I think I'm good. Like, you know, I'm, I'm doing YouTube, I, I go to college, like, I haven't killed anyone. I, I think I have a, you know, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself right now. In that regard, uh, mentally, anyways. Uh, but, yeah, this, this was, a uh, very entertaining. And, uh, also, the music bits hit really hard. Especially the, uh, history rap that they were doing. I don't know, this was just a great episode. I... I loved this so much. And it spoke a lot to me off the, uh, you know, what they were talking about throughout the episode. But besides that, the episode itself was also just very entertaining and chaotic, like it usually is. But there is nothing wrong with that. And I love it for that. Okay, anyways, uh, bye. Bye.